Uh, hey everybody, it's Tree. It's nighttime out, and I'm out here in my yard, um, and I'm hanging tie dyes all over my tree and different <laughs> things. And I got the blue light um, going on right there that will, you know, makes it glow in the dark. But I don't think you can really see the effect on this piece of shit camera. But anyhow, <laughs> um, my yard, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be lit up like a Christmas tree. But it'll be a hippie tree. <laughs> Okay, now um, to the cameraman. Woohoo, he's new. His name's Joe. One, two, three. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me again. Uh, you tied it wrong. Where's the one you did it? Anyway, oh. Uh, okay, hi. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this thing off. <laughs> okay, now I was thinking about what I was talking about earlier about my Master Mason. <clears throat> And the information that I just came out and I gave you guys um, was brutal. And it, since he's still in those secret societies and under Elizabeth, <clears throat> she's going to fuck him up. She might even kill him. So, like I said, we need a surgeon that will do the exam, you know, on his head, the brain surgeon, to see all those microchips, somebody that's not under the Illuminati or paid off. Because even if somebody isn't under the Illuminati and they agree to do that, Elizabeth will offer him fucking lot of fucking money not to but trust me if anybody tries to lie or, or you know take any bribes or do anything like that as far as any of my people are concerned I will know it and I will expose you okay. um. so like I said um Pendar Pendar you know the leader of the reptilians that knows Everything that's been going on, the one that has his memory intact for thousands and thousands of years, the one who's been all these thousands and thousands of years, the only one over Elizabeth, has been Pendar. And we can still reach him, but only through my Master Mason. Okay? And if anything happens to Master Mason, God forbid, but it will. I'm telling you this now because I'm starting to get a lot of fan mail. <laughs> A lot of, um, basically the family's starting to come back together. You know, um, our ancient clan, our, the real Sangreal, the real Earth family, the real Illuminati tree. Not Illuminati, it's an Illuminati tree. And that's not me, it's you guys, it's family. <clears throat> but uh, Elizabeth watches these and she follows everything. And that's why my Master Mason was just kicked out of Bohemian Grove about a month ago. <clears throat> or whatever. Because I used his name. Because the way that that bitch does things is instead of hurting the person, hurting me, she hurts people I love. You know what I'm saying? That's how she does things. They, that's how they do things. With, that's how they do things with everybody. You know, the reason that so many people keep their secrets isn't because they're afraid of their for their own life. They're afraid for the people they love, and they will torture and hurt and kill people that you love. Charlie, get your ass over here now! Sorry. I know that's not very earth motherly, but who doesn't listen? You bit me twice tonight. Get over here, because it's the it's Elizabeth breeds those kind of dogs. It was probably her dog in a past life. <sighs> Fucking rug rat. Anyhow, my master mason, Michael Rogers, he's here in Las Vegas, and he is the one that um, whose human body inhabited Draken for 20 years, and who Pendar would come to see me in, and. There's something about my Master Mason's black aura that's different than the rest of ours. Um, because Pendar wanted so bad to have that aura and have it. Um, because my Master Mason tried to quit. He tried to quit the Illuminati. He tried to quit the Masons and stuff, and they wouldn't let him. And um, Pendar wanted so bad to get that aura out of him before he died. <clears throat> because it's no, of no use to them if he won't... Um, participate in sex rituals and the children and the animals and if you won't kill people and uh, so basically um, the aura he has this aura that Pendar told me has this inform he says that I have to look it up in my computer to find exactly the word for word he used but uh, he said that it has the memory it has the memories of everything oh you know, um, and see, Draken, the one who inhabited him, was um, the only one who could, like, jump into other bodies. All the other Sangarians have to be put in there surgically or um, 
I, I, you know when it gets to 10 minutes, I have to stop. Okay. Um, you know, they have to be put in. They can't just jump into other bodies. The only ones that could jump were Pendar and Draken. <clears throat> and Draken was the one that uh, was sent to deal with me. He's one of four different ambassadors of the Queen of Pendar that was sent to deal with me. Uh, Freyder I am Hotep is another one. I'm going to be telling you guys about this in the next day or two, about Freyder I am Hotep. Uh, Mark Griggs works at uh, Fort Bragg in North Carolina, the one who did the Hermetic Alchemy on me to try to, they put a Sangarian inside of me. I thought I was pregnant. <laughs> I thought I was pregnant. But really what happened was, I, I'll tell you about that later. But right now, my Master Mason, Michael Rogers, he's in severe danger and if he's gone, we're not gonna be able to get Pendar back and Pendar has the information. He knows everything. He knows everything that has happened because he's been the leader, you know, but he, um, and he loves me. And that's why he's not here anymore. And that's why Draken's not here is because they love me more than Elizabeth. They didn't even love Elizabeth. She's a bitch, you are so fired. Cross me. Anyhow, so we need to work fast because my Master Mason's gonna end up being killed or disappeared here real soon. And he is the one that has, that we can, you know, his body, we have to convince him to do it too, but his body is the one that can inhabit Pendar. And also, I think my children are coming. Um, you know, the microchips on his brain and his head and all the different things, you know, the, the regular doctor who's honest, who's down for the cause, will be able to um, take a look at him and do the brain scan and stuff, and we'll have our proof right there, okay? proof and Elizabeth's the one that did it. She's the one that's behind all of this. Bitch, you are so fired. But I'm supposed to be all about love. I know that. I'm sorry. I'm just working my own demons out. And I, I'm almost out of time. What? The motorcycle? Fucking Hell's Angels, help. Come on, you guys. Come behind me. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. And you know what? Come on, Troy. God, I hate it when I don't get my way. No, anyway, so seriously, we need to, you guys who are watching this, tell your friends, get more people involved, get more people involved because the safest place to be is in the spotlight. Okay, my Master Mason, we have to protect him because your lives are riding on it and your freedom. I mark my words, I swear to you, because he is the one that can make all this happen, okay? I love you guys so much. Just know I love you, I love you. Earth party, okay? Two minutes? Oh, I thought I was saying goodbye. <laughs> we asked for a so Um, <clears throat> I know, the class in class, I'm work. Yeah, Earth mothers don't do things like that, I know. But I'm also a whore. Not a whore, but a hooker, whatever you call it. Talk about being torn. <laughs> Um. Can I have a cigarette, somebody? Hurry! A cigarette? We're kind of having a party here a little bit. But no, really, I'm, I know everything I'm saying, though, and I'm telling you guys the truth. Michael Rogers, his phone number is 702 561 561 0060. His business is at 1515 East Tropicana, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, his name is Michael Lee Rogers. He's also the head of the Board of Governors for the Shriners Children's Hospital. Michael, I'm not doing this to hurt you, sweetheart. I'm doing it to protect you because your ass is grass right now. Okay? I, and I know you think that you don't want to be exposed. You don't want people to know your name. And Look, you know, just I love you. I love you. I'm out of time. Peace out. Earth Party rules. Woo!